If you enjoy modifying your rooted Android smartphone on a system level, then you've probably heard of Exposed Framework. With the recent update to support Android NuGet, you can now do so much more once again. So I thought I'd share with you 10 of my favorite modules that you might enjoy using. Of course, you will need root for this to work, and for the time being, Android Oreo is not supported, but it will be in the future. If you want to get the exposed framework on your device, I'll drop a link right below the like button. I'm also only showing off modules that are still in active development, and all these mods can be found within the download section in exposed framework. Anyways, the first module I recommend you check out is Gravity Box. With this mod, you can tweak almost everything on your phone, including the lock screen, status bar, quick settings, nav bar, navigation keys, power menu, and more. You can think of this as the all-in-one repository for some crazy system tweaks. Personally, I modified the number of tiles per row from three to four, changed the notification head's timeout to three seconds, centered my clock in the status bar, hid the bottom actions on the lock screen, and had Spotify open whenever I plugged in my headphones. Those are just some examples of what you can accomplish, but you can do so much more. If you want to change the look of your status bar quickly, then you should check out flat style bar indicators. Within this app, you can change each icon that is in your status bar. For example, if I wanted to change my battery icon, then I would have over 33 different animated icons to choose from, and I can even modify certain indicators such as the colors for each battery level, enable a percentage text, or change the charging status icon. Some other great features are that you can reorder them to the left, right, or center of the status bar, and change the color, size, or number of parts. So there are other apps in the Play Store that will do the same thing, but not as advanced as this module. Next on this list is Status Bar Download Progress. It's a simple little mod that puts a progress bar in your status bar to show you your ongoing downloads. This is great because you no longer have to pull down your notification shade just to see how long till that big file downloads. It supports all downloads carried out via Android Standard Download Manager, and even attempts to show you a progress bar for other apps that are downloading something as well. This next module is also simple yet just as useful. It's called Play Store Change Log and all it does is show you an app's full changelog in the Play Store instead of the first four lines. It was kind of annoying that you had to tap on the read more to see an app's full changelog, so now you can save yourself an extra tap. Plus it works with the latest Play Store version and doesn't modify anything else, so it works for me. For those of you who love that Windows feature where you can discreetly find your Wi-Fi password and see what it is, just in case you forget it and want to share it with your friends, Wi-Fi Password is a module that enables the same feature in the settings for your Android device. Just go into the Wi-Fi settings, tap on any saved or connected Wi-Fi network, and by default the password is hidden. But if you tap on it, it will appear. You can even long press it to copy the Wi-Fi name and password. Lock screen widget is sixth on this list and the title pretty much says it all. It lets you add widgets to your lock screen. There is a limit to the amount of widgets you can add as it's just one screen, but you can put whatever you'd like, including KWGT or Zuper widgets for more diversity. You can also make the widget clickable, change the size or padding, position incoming notifications so it doesn't move your widgets, and even has the option to remove the stock lock screen lock, date, status bar, or next alarm. It does have a couple bugs, but for for the most part, it works just fine. Boot Manager lets you take control of which apps should start running on a system boot up. One of the many reasons why your phone takes a bit longer to start up is because there are plenty of third party apps that also want to start up in the background and most don't even need to. So with this module, you can select the apps which should not be executed during system start. And the best part about Boot Manager is that it will only show you the apps with the permission boot completed so you don't have to go through your entire list of applications and guess which ones will start up and which ones won't. If you want to change your system font, iFont is the way to go. Not only does it allow you to change your phone's font with any true type font file you provide it with, but you can also find hundreds of fonts to download and use within their app. There are even hundreds of fonts for a variety of languages. Setting one is as easy as clicking the download button, setting it, and rebooting. Another great mod is Alltrans. With this, you can change any language within any app to a different one at runtime. So for example, let's say an app is in Chinese. Within Alltrans, you can select the app's name and the required language conversion. Then whenever you use the app, all the text anywhere in the app is replaced by the language you selected. You can think of this as like the translation feature in Chrome for web pages, but instead for Android apps. The last module is for those who use Twitter, it's called Tweaks, and with this you can enable two hidden features within the Twitter app. The first one allows you to change the 140 character limit to 280, something everybody needs in 2017, and the second one is TweetStorm. This lets you post a bunch of tweets at once without leaving the Compose page. Pretty awesome mod and I haven't run into any issues. That's it for the top 10 mods in Exposed Framework. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and get subscribed. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.